find different forms of a word. Sometimes you might need a different form of a word than you see on a button. For example, you might want to say worse instead of bad or my instead of I. You can find different inflections or grammatical forms of words in grammar support pop-ups. Proloquo2Go has many grammatical forms so that AAC users have the chance to learn language. They can never learn full grammar if they don't have access to it. If a button opens a grammar support pop-up, its top right corner will be filled in. By default, Proloquo2Go will open the pop-up when you tap and hold the button. If you tap and hold a pronoun, you will see more related pronouns. For example, me, my, mine, myself. You tap the word to say it and insert it in the message window. My. If you press and hold an adjective, you see comparatives, worse, superlatives, worst, and adverbs, badly. You can tap close to close the grammar pop-up without choosing a word. If you press and hold a noun, you see the plural of the word, brothers. The possessive brothers, for example, if you wanted to say, it's my brother's game. Let's tap the plural brothers. Brothers. And now finish the sentence. Ken. Run. Quickly. My brothers can run quickly. As you can see, in English, most grammar pop-ups are simple to navigate. However, verb tenses are more complicated. Let's look at how you can use verb tenses in Proloquo to Go. Verb tense is usually determined by the word that is said before it. Proloquo to Go looks at the last word in the message window to help find the right verb tense. If you type a pronoun, when you open the grammar pop-up, it will shortcut to the verb tenses that match that pronoun. Let's try it. Tap I to start the sentence. I. Then tap and hold go to open the grammar pop-up. You will see the progressive, simple past, present and future tenses immediately. Going, went, go, will go. Tap went to add it. Went. And finish the sentence. To. The. Party. I went to the party. You can also find negative forms of the verbs. Tap she to start the sentence. She. Then tap and hold play to open the grammar pop-up. If you press not in the top right corner of the grammar pop-up, it automatically negates the verb. Tap won't play to finish the sentence. Won't play. She won't play. You can also find more complex forms of verbs. Tap we to start the sentence. We. Then tap and hold look. By tapping on these past, present or future buttons, you can access more complex verbs. Tap past to see verbs such as were looking. Tap past in the top left corner to go back. Tap future to see verbs such as will be looking. Then back again, tap present and tap have been looking. Have been looking. For it. We have been looking for it. If the last word in the message window is not a pronoun, Proloquo2Go cannot determine the verb tense you might need. Let's see how that looks. My sister. Now tap and hold a verb. Let's try like. You see some verb tenses, but they may not be correct. You should tap he, she, it, as this is the correct pronoun to describe my sister. Then you will see the correct verb tenses for your sentence. Likes it. My sister likes it. Some people using Proloquo to Go may not be able to read and find the correct form of the word they want to use. They can use preview to hear the words before they choose which one to send to the message window. You turn preview on and off in the grammar pop-up. I want. Tap and hold some 
to open the grammar pop-up. Tap the preview button on the bottom row of the pop-up. Preview is turned on when the button is highlighted in green. Preview will stay on or off for all grammar support pop-ups until you tap its button again. Now tap the different word choices and Proloquo2Go will speak them. Somewhere. Something. The selected word goes into the green buffer button in the bottom right corner of the pop-up. To choose the word and send it to the message window, tap the button. Something. Different. I want something different. New AAC users may not need access to all different grammatical forms of words. You can change the grammar support settings in options. To go to options, press the gear icon on the bottom right corner of the toolbar. Go to grammar. Here you can turn off grammar support entirely, show which different word kinds have grammar support available, and if you tap advanced options, you can turn off and on the different grammatical forms of a word.